How's it? In this video, I want to talk about um, one of the other questions we often get on the channel and on Facebook. You know, people going, hey, how did you immigrate? What did you do? Now, there's another video that told you how we got into Canada. But, you know, it's not necessary, not necessary that that's what's going to work for you. And honestly, um, the best bet to know what's going to work for you is to get a immigration agent or an immigration lawyer. And what I would suggest is that you research them well. What I'll do is I'll put a link to um, the email address to my immigration lawyer in the video below. Des Friedland is the guy that helped us. He's really, I mean, he's a great guy and he, and he really, you know, he really helped us. I mean, theoretically, I was a lost cause because I'm old. I don't have a, a qualification yet he gave me the right advice and we worked through it and and here we are um i don't please don't get me wrong i don't say that he's going to be able to do that for everybody every single case is unique and you must know that but your best bet if you need advice on how to come into the country is to speak to an immigration lawyer and unfortunately guys you uh, or an immigration agent and and i'm not saying this is the best or the only one there's plenty of them there's plenty of people that are really good the first thing you should do is just research them and go and check online their ratings and stuff like that because um you know there's also some people that scam they, they just want to take your money and they're not going to help you at least i can vouch that this is not like that he did take my money but he also did help me um which i guess is really what you want uh, oh, what was where was I going oh another important thing the immigration lawyers the immigration agents most of these guys they are going to charge you you know their time they've got an hourly rate and they are going to charge you for the first interview so please understand that it is going to it's going to cost you a minimum of, they, they all differ but it's probably going to be around $250 for the first hour just to ascertain what is the best way to get in and um, that you, you're gonna have to pay that you know that's it's just what's the saying you pay peanuts you get monkeys so sometimes you just need to fork it out if you're serious about doing this and you're serious about doing it the right way I would suggest that you understand that you are going to have to make a payment to a proper lawyer or a proper agent that's going to help you and i know there's people out there that's managed to do this themselves you can do it yourself there's a lot of information on the immigration canada immigration website it is the worst website in the world when you need to dig through it i guess maybe what they're doing is they're making it really really hard so that only hopefully they're thinking only the smart people is going to get in or the people with money to hire a lawyer i don't know what the idea is but anyway it is really a very difficult site but all the information is there you just got to go through it and read through it the forms are there the steps are there um, so it is possible to do it yourself but if you're really serious and you can afford it i would suggest that you try and get a, a proper attorney or an agent and i i'm glad i'd gladly give advice but understand that I, I'm not an immigration agent. I can't advise you on other things. I went through that website and I studied everything that had to do with the owner operator work permit because that's what I needed to do. And then I studied everything that had to do with how to get Belinda on a PR because that is our next step. But, you know, it's like it's just one little path through the whole system there are so many other paths that i didn't go and study and every person has got a different path that they need to follow so um yeah i just wanted to look i'm going to reply to your mails if you ask me questions on facebook messenger or you put questions in the comments i promise i will reply to it and i'll try and help you as much as i can but understand that i am not <coughs> i'm not an immigration agent and i can't really give you the ultimate advice you have to you have to go the right routes all right folks you almost have a good one cheers